Are we supposed to have white chocolate with a white Christmas? Is that what we're supposed to do? Yep. Y'all. What are you doing? It's cold outside. I got my coffee. And what better time than to make a little sweet treat. <laughs> uh, we're not nearly as cold as a lot of people. We live in middle Georgia. So the actual temperature is 32 and the wind chill is 21. And by midnight, it's going to be 17 degrees here. And that is not including the wind chill. But like I say, <clears throat> we're not nearly as cold as a lot of you are. And uh, but, but it's four four thirty in the afternoon, and the water is freezing outside yes, already. Yes, it is. And we're just not used to this kind of weather. Nope. Because this time of the year, sometimes we have eighty degree uh, nope. temperatures. So, what I'm going to be making for us today is kind of like an almond joy. <clears throat> I've got some uh, coconut here, some flake coconut, sweetened coconut. I've got almonds, slivered almonds, and I've got pecans, chopped pecans right here. I've got Eagle Brand condensed milk, and I've got white almond bark. And I usually do these with chocolate, but I'm out of the chocolate, so I'm going to do it with the almond bark because we love the almond bark. Beep, 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 beep. Warning, <laughs> warning. This is a sugar item. Overload. High test. Yep. High yep, test. It is. High test. Okay. All right. I've got two cups of flaked coconut here. And uh, like I say, it's sweetened coconut. And I do have unsweetened coconut that I could, uh, I could use half, but I'm using condensed milk, so I'm... I'm just not going to do that. You're overloaded already. Yeah, this is a half a, a can of condensed milk. I made some the other day, and I used a half a can. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to use a little bit more than a half a can. So I've opened up another can. This is a third cup of pecans and a half cup of slivered almonds. And I want more coconut than I've got nuts. So, um... All you do is you put all this in a bowl and you take a spoon and you stir your uh, your nuts oops, out on the table. That's what you do. <laughs> this clean, so I'm going to put it back in the bowl. All right, I'm going to get a smaller spoon so I can work with it better. But this is a very quick, quick, easy. If you love Almond Joys, you're going to love this one. And I made some the other day, and I've taken a couple of people some. And uh, so I wanted to have some more for Christmas. And when I went back to my pantry to get my chocolate bark, all I had was white. So I said, well, we're just going to do it with white this time. But I do have chocolate chips. So if we don't like it quite as good with the white, then I I might melt some, some chocolate chips. But... Uh, <clears throat> So you just stir this up real well. I'm going to put a little bit. Some of the recipes call for powdered sugar. But that I made the other day, I did not put powdered sugar in it. I just used this, uh, the uh, condensed milk, and it was plenty, plenty oh, sweet, was, but not wonderful. overly sweet. It was, it was just right. If I put the powdered sugar in it, it calls for like three-fourths cups then oh, no. it would be way too sweet for us. So I'm just going to stir this up really well, and I may get in it with my hands in a minute because my hands are clean. But i got to make sure that, it's gonna, that I've got enough of the uh, condensed milk in it for the balls. I'm going to roll it in little balls for it to stick together. You can do it. I've seen it done in little, little pieces like that. But they're harder to dip in chocolate. So I just usually 
do mine in balls. The balls are good. That yeah, and the uh when you try to do it in like little long pieces, it just doesn't dip real well. So it tries to tear up and it's just easier for me to do it in the balls. Okay. I'm gonna put this to the side. I've got clean off my board here, my pan. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll these in little balls and I'm going to put them in the freezer and I'm going to leave them about 45 minutes to an hour. Let them get real hard and when I go to coat them in this chocolate instantly and my pan is also going to be real cold. Instantly it causes a crust. It causes this bark to harden and when you bite into it you got a little crunch there. So uh, that's the reason I put mine in the freezer and kind of get them frozen. Now it's it's kind of messy uh, because it's going to stick to my hands but I think what I'm going to do is get me a little bowl of water uh, Now, I didn't do this the other day, but we already got our water dripping here so because our pots will freeze. So I'll just get a little bit of water, and I'm going to put just put a little bit on my hands like that. I'm going to pick up. Now, you want to mash it together like this because you want it to be really... Uh, really pressed together so when you dip it in the chocolate it's not going to come apart on you so you just take this make you a little ball whatever size balls you want but I like mine about well about that size what is that honey an inch inch and a half around about that about an inch and a quarter around to yeah. an inch and a half okay inch and a quarter to an inch and a half diameter yeah. and I just kind of wet my hand like that just a little bit in the palm of my hand. And that keeps this from sticking to my hand so bad. But you press them together like that because you do want that ball to stick together. Uh, now that was a half a can and probably two tablespoons more of condensed milk. And it takes that much to get them to stick together like they are. If you don't put enough condensed milk, they when you mash them like this they won't stick together they'll they'll try to come apart okay all right and if you have different size balls you give the small balls away and you keep the big <laughs> balls for yourself is that correct well that's the way you would do it <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's the way you would do it and so, then the other people won't know any different rose they won't know you kept the big balls no, they won't they won't but just keep your little bowl of water right here and just do like I just did. Just take your fingertips, kind of wet the palms of your hand, and that will keep this from being so messy because it will stick to your hands. You know, for somebody that doesn't have much time to cook sweets and things for the family but wants to do something, oh, this is this, this, is, is, this is the perfect one, isn't it's it? It's so quick and easy, yes. And if you love coconut, you love almond joys, uh, this is the perfect one to do. And um, I've got another one on there. I, I think I call it brickle. Brickle candy, you do it with saltines. And it's really, really easy to do. There are just lots of easy, simple, quick, uh, sweet treats that's fun to do. They're delicious, and they don't take much time. So, uh, And there's a lot of them out there, believe me. Uh, the I've Chex been, mixes are oh fun my. to do too. If y'all haven't seen my video on, uh, I call it brittle Chex mix. Uh, that, I call it I call it Chex mix brittle. Yeah, yeah, but it is. I'm telling you, it's got. It's now, good. I can't do the wheat Chex, but I do the corn and the rice, and I can't do the bagel uh, chips because that's wheat. And the uh, pretzels is wheat. So I substitute, like I put uh, I put some uh, poppers, which is like a little Lay's potato thing. It's uh, 
kind of like a potato chip, but it's in a little round ball. I put some of those in it. And you can find things out there that's gluten-free that you can add to it. And I put some uh, peanuts and I put some pecans in mine. And then I just made a praline, a praline uh, uh, mixture of brown sugar and uh, corn syrup and uh brown sugar corn syrup and butter and i am telling you right now oh yeah but my. i like the one that's not sugared at all that one you did in the microwave oh yeah now and i you did could, one you could use the oats too don't mention don't forget right that. right your cheerios cheerio your oats, oats no yes. no sugar on them just yes just plain mm -hmm. and put it in the chick mix check mix and i it didn't have, have any of that but i when i went to the grocery store then I did get some, and I added a little seasoning to it, that's and I, good. I stirred it up in my Chex Mix. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was delicious. That's and that's another thing that's gluten-free is your uh, plain Cheerios. But now you can get the flavor. There's chocolate. There's peanut butter. There's honey nut. There's all kinds of flavors out there, and the, any of those would be delicious. Okay. Well, I have stood right here and talked the whole time that I rolled out these balls. Okay, now I'm going to put these in the freezer, and I'm going to leave them for about 45 minutes to an hour and let them get really hard so when I coat them in my chocolate, they're going to instantly crunch, have a, a, a crunchy coating over them. So I'll be back. I'm going to wash my hands, get this cleaned up, get these in the freezer. All right, let's turn something into chocolate. Okay, my uh, coconut balls. and pecan balls <laughs> have been in the freezer for like an hour. I'm going to put my, now this is almond bark, the vanilla. I'm going to put it on one minute and I'm going to let it uh, see if it's melted. If it's not, I'll put it on for like 20 seconds. And I'll keep stirring it until it gets as melted as I want. And <clears throat> I'm taking my little balls. I, I switched pans. So I'm taking them out. And I got another pan here because I thought, you know what? While I'm doing this, I'm just going to dip some pretzels. And I've got some peanuts over there. I'm going to make little peanut clusters. So... I said, while I'm doing, I just might as well do several little things. So I'm going to put my little balls on here as soon as, uh, as soon as it gets melted. And uh, that's going to take me probably uh, one minute. It's not going to do it. Probably I'm going to have to do it like 30, 45 more seconds. But we're going to check it after a minute and see. Okay. Now, as you can see, it's not, it's in the bottom, it's just beginning to get a little soft. So, as soon as it gets melted, uh, and I'll let you know how long that's going to be, then we're going to start dipping our little coconut pecan balls. Looking good, Grandma. Okay. All right. That was two minutes. It took two minutes. And I think it's because I've got it in a deeper bowl, <clears throat> usually after about a minute and a half. It'll uh, it'll be all right, but this one took two minutes. Now, I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. So, just roll it in the chocolate. Just roll it in the chocolate. Yep. And I've got my little sharp. Uh, well, she's just lifting it out. Mm -hmm. She's not having to stick them. No, no, no. I don't want to stick them because they'll come apart. Because they got the coconut and so many pecans in it. Yep. So they'll just come apart. So I'm just rolling And if them. this cools the chocolate down too much, you just heat it for another you just 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try the toothpick. That works. Mm -mm. The toothpick's it's easier gonna, just to get them out of there. The toothpick's going to tear it up, yeah. Yeah, you could use the toothpick so just, as one hand. You know, after you yeah. roll it, mm -hmm. if you didn't want to stick your finger to it, is what I'm saying. Oh, I don't mind sticking my finger. That way I get to lick my fingers. <laughs> oh. oh, that looks good, Grandma. And vanilla, this, <clears throat> oh my, 
It is my favorite. And I can just put that one didn't get quite. So I just do it like that. You mean you just cheat? Yeah. Mm -hmm. if, you, if it doesn't. Yeah. If at first you don't succeed, cheat. Yep. Uh huh. Yep. Ramama. You do. Okay. All right. That doesn't see, show that a one... high degree of moral okay. cooking fiber. <laughs> yeah, it does. All right. So now we just. I'm just going to keep dipping. And these are really cold uh, because they've been in the freezer. So, uh, so as you can see, they've already started uh, season up. Season, not season up, but they've already started getting hard. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, because that cold is uh, the ball, the little coconut balls are cold. And so they're, uh, 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 all right, there you go. You can always fix it. <laughs> okay. It takes out more chocolate than you think until you go back and look in it your does. bowl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's a pretty good little coating on each one. It, it is, but it's, oh, it's so good. You want it coated like that. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, I'm going to finish these and then we'll come back and I'll show you how I'm going to do my pretzels. Just putting that chocolate on a pretzel. Okay. I'm just dipping my chocolate. My, and I did this two minutes. It took ten, two minutes to melt this. So I just dip my pretzel in and shake some of that excess chocolate off because it's it'll it, fill the whole uh -huh. thing if you don't yeah it'll fill those little holes well that looks good mm -hmm. it does so i just dip it in there shake some of that excess off and lay it on my and hey if it stays in those little holes that's just all the better. <laughs> no, it's a waste of chocolate. Uh-uh. <laughs> Look how cold and hard these frozen balls are that she put and they're real, in the chocolate. They're real crunchy. The, uh, Touch I mean, them again. Let me see. Yeah, okay. see, see, they there? set up really, really well. When you freeze them like that. They're ready to go, aren't they? Yeah, they are. I mean, it's, I it's guess, very easy. I guess you could freeze your pretzels too, couldn't you? Hmm. I guess you could, but yeah, but this is she's not worried about it. She doesn't care how much collects on well, it. these won't these won't tear apart like those will, yeah, okay I'm not gonna do a bunch of these because I got so many little snacks to little goodies for the kids, yeah. green kids, well, it's just. Tomorrow's Saturday, and then it's Christmas, so it's about time for you to wind down. I am. I'm. I'm I got a couple of things to do tomorrow, and then as far as my baking and my making candy and stuff like that is concerned, you know, I it am. may be too cold outside to even use the smoker to cook cook the meat. Oh, we uh uh we got it now. We got to use that <laughs> smoker because <laughs> that's what we're having Christmas. That's well, what we're having. Seventeen Sunday. outside. I don't know how good the smoker's <laughs> going to work. And the windshield is going to be even colder. Right. Than that. But now we're not where some of y'all are, where it's really below cold. zero, uh, and the windshield is forty and fifty below. Bless y'all's heart. We were in one year. We were in Minot, North Dakota, and <clears throat> Roy was on TDY. He worked with the civil service, and. So it was in November, I think. And we were supposed to stay like two more days. Uh, but he had gone to work that morning. I was in the uh, motel. And so he calls me. He says, get packed up. He said, they're expecting a hard freeze. And they're wanting us to get out of here. a storm here. coming A in. storm. From Canada coming they're down. They're wanting us to get out of here before it hits. Because... They don't know how long we would be stuck here if 
if we, you know, if we didn't leave now. So right. I got everything packed up and we started, we looked at the weather and we were trying to decide which was the best way to go uh, to keep us out of the storm. So I think we went across into uh, Michigan or uh, yeah. Minnesota. Minnesota. Yeah, Minnesota and, and as we were going as we were going down the road ice was forming on our on our car on our windshield on our uh, we were just barely staying ahead of the we storm. were barely staying ahead of it and so but we did and we got home without any trouble but and they said you know if you live there you have to have these survival kits in the in your car and th this was several years ago back in the 90s but but still i feel i feel for you it the ones that are in in that really cold weather because about the coldest we have here it can get down to 10 degrees but not very often and that that doesn't happen very much at all okay that's all the pretzels i'm gonna do now i've got unsalted peanuts and i've got salted peanuts so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put some of my chocolate in my peanuts and I'm going to stir it around and I got to get another tray. I got one over here that I can use. I'm going to put a little bit more and I'm going to stir it around. All right, I'm going to sit this out of the way since they're ready and I'm going to put this right there. Okay. All right. I want to get. She's already made some in this pan. Is the reason it. Yeah, that's my little balls that I had. So yeah. it's clean. It's just some of the balls where I had them in the, the freezer. Chocolate. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm gonna just put this down on this sheet by little teaspoonfuls, and this is uh the salted ones. Yep. Roy likes salted. I like, no, I like salted. He likes unsalted. I like sweet and salt. And he likes the unsalted ones. So, okay. And I'm going to do my unsalted ones the same way that I'm doing these. I've got some left here. And so I'll just finish this up with my, uh, with my unsalted ones. I have to look because <laughs> I forget what I'm doing here. Plus, I've got to get more paper. I've got to get another tray out. So I'm going to continue to do this. I'm going to get my, and I'm going to do my unsalted ones exactly like I did this. So when I get all of these coated, then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you just how quickly we can have a big tray of yummy, yummy treats very for quickly. people who eat sugar yes yep oh yeah grandmama okay this is our almond joy balls or our coconut pecan balls in uh white chocolate or white almond bark vanilla almond bark and they are so super good they are really good with the chocolate almond bark but they are really really good with this now this is our platter of uh pecans and pretzels and right here as you can see i'm all the time doing crazy stuff so i took some of my pretzels that i had dipped and i put a little thing of peca uh, peanuts on them on just a few of them yeah. on a few just to give it a little extra i've got several just a few that i did that way and then we have our dip pretzels and our salted uh, peanuts are on this side. Our unsalted peanuts are on this side. So this is our tray of goodies that I made today. So thank y'all for... Uh, and all of these are something you can do without... Oh. 
in-depth cooking knowledge or anything just simple just so simple just do it and do it with your kids do it with right. your grandchildren oh yeah. it's, just, it's so much fun to do it with them let them get candy on them and let yep. them yep. make some mistakes let them lick their fingers as yeah just doing. let the kids in <laughs> right yep let them enjoy it let them take a pretzel dip it down in there That's take a right. bite just ever how you can have fun with your children and grandchildren this time of the year especially is a wonderful time. It's precious memories. So thank you for joining me. Um, hit the subscribe button, the little notification bell. Merry Christmas to all of you. And remember, remember there's a warning on these. Yeah. They're high test sugar. They're, yeah, there's a warning. But you so, don't always eat everything yourself. No, no. And the grandkids. No, and Christmas is special, so... Remember, food feeds the family, family feeds the heart, and God feeds the soul. Merry Christmas to everyone, and I hope you all have a very blessed Christmas.